Hello guys. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to connect API Gateway uh, to Lambda function. In previous video, we created API in Node.js and Express. Then we used a serverless Express package by Vendia uh, to export Lambda handler in a Lambda.js file. We updated a Docker file to use a Lambda Node.js image and to run the lambda function after we built the image we pushed it to ecr elastic container registry repository then we created a lambda to run it off that image after that we put some configuration like environment variable and then we connected a function url to invoke this lambda However, there are other ways to invoke it, and one of them is through the API Gateway. API Gateway gives you more features, such as a powerful and flexible authentication mechanism through AWS Identity Manager, Access Management Policies, Lambda Authorizer, and Cognito. It also supports Canary release deployments for safe rolling out changes, like you can create stage dev stage stage or deploy environments it also has a cloud trail logging it has an ability to use aws cloud formation templates to deploy it it supports custom domain name and that's where if you want to build a public api you can add a custom domain name to the api gateway and it also supports integration with aws waf the firewall for protecting your API against common web exploits. For example, you can use WAF to set rate limiting. When it comes to API Gateway, you mainly have two choices, HTTP API and the REST API. HTTP API is more cost-effective, REST API, but it still has features such as authorizer and course support. And the REST API, has more features and gives you uh, more complete control over the request and response along with the API management capabilities. Your choice whether to use HTTP API or REST API really depends on your use case. Let's take a look at HTTP API first. Here we present it with a button add integration that we're going to click and we're going to choose Lambda integration gives us selection of the region and we can actually choose the lambda right here and we can call api name we can call it uh, api webhook lambda and we click the next button All right after the next button it presents us with a resource path and since we're going to be running our Lambda is a proxy, right? So all requests can be proxied to the Lambda. What we need to put for the path is proxy plus. After that, we click next again and stage it gives us default and auto deploy is selected also by default. So we can click next, review and click create. After the integration is created, we can simply click on the invoke URL. Since we don't have any root path, it's response to us that we cannot get root. So, but let's test our health endpoint. And it responds OK, and environment is production. Same thing we put in the environment variable. Also, we can test the message endpoint. and it responds to us with a hello world or if we change the parameter to alex it's going to respond to us with a hello alex and this is how you create a http api and connect it to the lambda of course http api have some other options like crowd authorization integrations and course that you can explore on your own now but we're gonna take a look at how to create the rest api we're going to click again on a create API button and uh, we will choose a REST API. All right, we just put new API and we can name it uh, API 
lambda rest and then we can create api so right now it offers us here on the actions we need to hit create resource right and here we're going to use proxy again right so we can create proxy and it fills out things for us right so because again we're going to be proxying everything to lambda here it gives you an option even to enable course right we can do that if you want to let your applications from the browser call in your api and you don't want to get it blocked by the browser and then we we gonna create resource so now we need to put integration type as lambda function right it has lambda region us west 2 however it doesn't have the name of the function so we need to fill it in so you gotta either copy it or here i already kind of created it so it actually gives you um, a little help here all right and then you can create save it's going to notify that uh, permissions to invoke your lambda function will be there so you click ok and now your lambda function is connected to rest api gateway however we need to deploy it right with the http api it deployed it automatically but here we need to deploy it by hand so we need to create a stage right so we can call it dev and then you can put a uh, stage description and deployment description if you wish and now we can click deploy all right, so it gives us the invoke URL right here that we can click. When the URL opens, you can see the dev prefix for the stage, and you have a message missing authentication token, a little bit misleading, right? So, but now if we try to get health route, right, it's going to respond with OK, true, and production as we expected. And now let's check the message. Let's say world it's gonna reply with a, to to us with hello world or if we would again change the parameter to alex it will reply to us with a hello alex and this is how you uh, connect rest api gateway to a lambda and obviously rest api gateway has a lot more options which i encourage you to explore in this video we explored how to connect both rest and http api gateways to api created in node.js and expressed and deployed on lambda function thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video